welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri, and today we're gonna check out a really cool car, a Mercedes S600. Yes, twin turbo V12. Let's uh, take a look at it. It's actually right here, right behind me. We're doing all kinds of cool cars today. We literally have a shop full of Mercedes G-Class. We have G550, G63, we have a G55, uh, the 2005 edition. And uh, with you today, right now, we're looking at this 2007 Mercedes S600. And yes, we, we meaning car enthusiasts, have uh, always have soft spot for V12, especially a twin turbo V12. And it's addictive. If you're not a car enthusiast and if you drive a vehicle with a 12 cylinder and you kind of given a little bit of freedom of uh, how to drive, you're gonna become a car enthusiast, I'm telling you. Well, today we have one with 47,000 miles and nearly I would say not nearly an impeccable ownership history, impeccable service history, and we have an impeccable car. So let's start from the cold start. We're gonna get in the vehicle and we're gonna get it started. The first thing you're gonna see of, on this car is how beautiful and how impeccable everything is. The condition of interior on any car is a very important uh, topic condition of interior on a luxury car on a special interest car is very very important so let's get the 12 cylinder engine cranking all we need to do is push this button it sounds awesome sounds really 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 awesome wow this guy has a night vision too we won't be able to see it on the screen because it's a daylight. The 12 cylinder RPM just brought down a bit. And close the door and you're in the, your own world, the V12 twin turbo world. Just turning it around a bit 2007 we have night vision we have a backup camera we have a park assist check that out on the bottom of that screen that is really really cool we do have Bluetooth we have look at this cute panel for a phone dialer so we have all kinds of things but the best thing is if you're on the market for a nice luxury high performance unique exquisite sedan we have one at the time of at this time of doing this video we have this gorgeous car so we are backing up So let's peek at that engine. Yes, let's peek at it. This is 2007 only had two owners the first owner had the car for about three years and didn't drive very much they only drove 8,000 miles and then the second owner who owned the car from 2010 through uh, now put the rest of the miles and the total mileage on the car is 40 seven thousand incredibly well maintained very well capped miles 
so I'm going to uh, grab the microphone and I'm going to run it around the engine because I want you to hear this incredibly smooth, incredibly smooth performance. And I noticed, I know for a fact, we haven't done the engine detailing yet. I know we cleaned the car, but we have not detailed the engine. Got the mic back. Okay. Any questions on the engine compartment, let us know. But I'd like to point out, of course, this car had no accidents. Uh, all the hardware is original. You can see it. You can see it on the hinges. The paintwork, let's get that out of the way. The paintwork on the car is original except for two panels. We know for a fact there was probably a light cosmetic, small cosmetic imperfection somewhere in the quarter. Our paint meter detected uh, paint work and it looks like um, they blended or painted the door so these two panels the right rear door and the right rear quarter uh, they have a very nice high quality uh, cosmetic paint repairs were done the rest of the car is all original in fact the whole car is original from the body panel standpoint from the paint standpoint all panels have original paint except for two that I mentioned look at this beauty look at this gorgeous set of wheels and the pilot sport michelins on these wheels 255 40 19s in the front and let's check out the size in the rear two seventy five forty nineteen two seventy five that is incredible two seventy five millimeters that is like, I guess, just quick assessment, 11 inches or so. That's pretty wide tire. And by the way, just a side note, if you were ever wondering what these sizes are, the 275 is actually width of the tire in millimeters. The 40, which is the number uh, following the right slash, that is actually the percentage, which means the height of the tire right here is 40% of the width. So if you wanted to calculate in millimeters the actual height of the tire, you would take 40% of 275. And then obviously R19 indicates the diameter, the rim diameter, 19 inch. They don't look like 19 in inch. They look smaller because it's a huge car. It's a huge tire and it's the best tire money can buy. Check this out. discreet but nice sound from the exhaust system and gorgeous black paint outstanding quality a perfect candidate for a perfect candidate for uh, ceramic pro coating coating the trunk power trunk up and down and check out the rear compartment very very clean heated and ventilated and adjustable seats in the back so you can recline them climate control gorgeous panorama sunroof and immaculate condition throughout i always look at the condition of the wood i'm not seeing any cracking so far but let's look at it together nothing doors everything looks beautiful and i love these side pockets check them out there's some nice compartments up here trunk controls dense dings i'm not seeing any on the driver's side for sure and how about passenger side
Now this side also looks impeccable. We're good in this department. Very, very, very good. Uh, the rear bumper looks close to perfect. Again, I'm not seeing any issues there. Let's check out the front end. A couple of small touch-ups here and there, just normal maintenance. But nothing that would be like, wow, this has a problem, that has a problem. Very, very presentable. You can see occasional touch-ups. You can see one right here and by the way we do have two keys for the vehicle so you have these touch-ups i'm showing with the corner of the key tag so they're barely noticeable they're there but uh, not many so let's take it for a quick uh, drive the seat is nice very 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 nice uh, leather wrapped uh, interior trim everything works nice and smooth check this out we have a cd changer right here and this guy has so much power and so much smoothness you actually don't want to drive it hard this is not the type of car you drive hard but when you're on the highway and you need and, and you need some acceleration it is so enjoyable nice and clean instruments it actually has uh, mechanical gauges on the left for fuel for temperature and on the right for a tachometer and your speedometer is actually a, a display and that can produce various information so it's very handy let's uh, check out the Destronic cruise control I love this feature and Mercedes had that already I, I I've seen some cars I believe 2005 we've sold way way back we've sold some e 500s I still love those cars and those had the Destronic Destronic works beautiful everything on this car works and it works very very nice Check out the rear compartment, the headliner, the panorama sunroof. Let's open that up. Can open the sunroof panel as well. I love this. Uh, sunglass holder discreet and functional you can actually fit two pairs in there the medium to small ones and the vehicle drives incredible take a back road <clears throat> corner is beautiful absolutely beautiful very enjoyable car to drive insane level of confidence you have as a driver as far as acceleration handling and just vehicle control we have beautiful back roads here in Boxborough horse farm right here and acceleration is again it's stunning sharp right turn and it takes it nice and smooth no problem going uphill So 
So we hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, we have a lot of exciting cars and this would definitely make the top of the list from various standpoint. Number one, it's affordable. This car, when it was sold new, you can check our, and please check our detailed listing on alphacars.com. We have the original window sticker. We have all the details about the vehicle, mechanical condition, cosmetic condition, the improvements we've made, the history, the service history, ownership history, it's all there. So we also have the window sticker and I would not be surprised if this was a $130,000, $140,000 car back in the day in 2007. So it was, it was a very expensive car and you could buy some other cars back then for that kind of money but I think it, would, it was tough to match the performance, luxury, functionality of this car. So today, for the price that we're offering this vehicle, it's an outstanding value. If you just simply say, well, I can spend this money and buy this gorgeous car from Alpha Cars, by the way, one of the most reputable uh, dealers in the United States, or I can take this money and what can I do with it? What else can I buy? And make a little list of cars you can buy for this kind of money and then match it up against this car. And if you're looking for a four-door car, it would be no-brainer. Even if you're looking for a sports car, but you enjoy and appreciate and value the luxury, exclusivity, and certainly down-to-earth cost of ownership, Yes, this car is more expensive than a Toyota Corolla, but it's down to earth compared to some other cars of similar caliber. So make the right choice. And if we still have this car, give us a call. Send us a note through website. Send us a note through YouTube video. And we would love to help you. And please subscribe to the channel. Please let us know which videos you like the most by simply clicking the like button. And thank you very much for viewing this video from Alpha Cars.